Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to visualize polygon selections on procedural and generated objects. I'll begin by showing you what kind of problem we are trying to solve. So I'm going to go and uh, create a sphere. I'm going to activate my lines. And uh, I like to use an icosahedron and increase the number of polygons. Now I'm going to go and make this editable. I can go using the polygon selection and the selection tool, and I can select polygons, and we get a feedback on what is selected. Fantastic. At the same time, I can also go right-click here and go to the other tags and create a polygon selection. Now, this polygon selection can store manually selected polygons, but it can also use the transfer mode. Let's get rid of the freeze, and let's go and add a random field. I'll make it a bit bigger. But you can see nothing seems to be selected. If I go to the polygon selection tag and I double click, that's when we're going to see the selection. So this is one of the things we are trying to solve here, is to get some sort of feedback on what this selection is doing. And we can't do this unless we use a little trick. Now I'm going to simplify the problem a bit by not even using an editable sphere. Let me just delete everything. I'll create my sphere from scratch, set it to icosahedron, increase the number of segments, and then I'm going to go here directly on this primitive object, and I'm going to add my polygon selection tag. I'm going to go and add my random field, make it a bit bigger, and I'm actually going to add a bit of animation. In the case of the primitive, I can't actually even double click to see that selection, even if I'm in polygon mode. So this is the only way you can preview this selection. So let's go. I'm going to go and create a standard Cinema 4D material. Not a Redshift one, just a Cinema 4D material. And I'm going to drag it on my sphere. I'm going to give it some sort of color so I can see the difference. And then all I have to do is go to the material and apply the selection. And depending on how intense the color is, it's going to be more visible. I can zoom in. And there you have it. This is how you preview your selections on primitive or procedural objects. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.